Hello, I'm Alan Lay here with the weekly CAIC Avalanche Safety Report. And here, as always, with Brian Lazar from the CAIC. How you doing this week, Brian? We're doing all right. Thanks for having us back. Um, got some changes to talk about. We've got a lot of areas in Colorado that have generally safe avalanche conditions, but with some snowfall midweek and then an uptick in winds as we move into the very end of the work week and through the weekend, we're going to see kind of widespread moderate avalanche danger um, with really specific slopes presenting, uh, presenting the biggest risk. And we'll talk about why here. Um, this is some wind data from Bertha Pass, but it's really indicative of what's going on around the state. So in the middle part of the week here, we got some snowfall and we could see we had winds mostly out of the uh, west and northwest. And as we moved into the very end of the work week, you can see that winds have shifted to the southwest and west. And here you can see on this wind rose that earlier in the week, we had moderate winds indicated by the yellow color. And again, coming out of the west to the north, so northwesterly winds. This was loading these easterly and southeasterly aspects with these wind drifted slabs. Now, as we move into late in the work week and through the weekend, we've got stronger winds indicated by these red and orange colors, and they're coming out of the west southwest. That's going to move any available snow onto these northerly and easterly aspects. And so when we look at avalanche activity over the last week, you can see on the left hand panel here that it's, you know, fairly widespread, you know, everywhere from Rocky Mountain National Park down through the Summit County and Vail areas, through the Elk Mountains and down into the North San Juan Mountains around Telluride and Red Mountain Pass. And notably, most of the avalanche activity has been up in the Alpine, the high elevation above tree line areas, confined in north and easterly aspects with some of it pulling around on the southeasterly. So here's some examples of these small wind slab avalanches pulling out of steep wind loaded terrain. You can see most of them are small, and um, but you know they can entrain enough snow to knock someone off their feet, take you for a small ride. And here's a recent one from just yesterday out near kind of Red Mountain Pass. So these are what the avalanches are going to look like, and this is what you want to be cautious of as we move through the weekend. Fortunately, right now the problematic areas are actually pretty easy to identify. If you look for those wind-shaped pillows, those stiffer drifts of snow. If you start moving in the snow where you can see collapsing or cracking, like in this case, shooting out from your skis, or in this case, shooting out from your snowshoes, it's a really clear indication that you're into one of these stiffer drifts. So that means you either need to move to more sheltered terrain where you don't have that stiff wind drifted snow and or move to lower, um, sorry, lower angle terrain, you know, less than about 30 degrees where you're unlikely to trigger an avalanche. Brian, once again, thank you for this week's CAIC Avalanche Safety Report. You can always stay up to date with the latest forecast at colorado.gov slash avalanche. Enjoy the backcountry and be sure to stay alert and stay safe.